Well, hello, I'm Sandra here. In today's new segment, I'm going to talk about something that's on everyone's tongues and eyes, especially VR, virtual reality. Now, some companies, well, a lot of companies are trying their hand in, in producing the perfect virtual reality inducer, and that's something sort of like Oculus Rift, for example. You have the, the Vive, Vive was it, Vive was it from, from Steam? If I'm not mistaken, that's like 800 bucks or something like that. It's a bit expensive, it's a bit pricey. Uh, I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing that, playing it, and they, they, they're having fun, apparently. At this point, one of the big companies stepped in the game and challenged everyone. We are talking about none other than Razer. And we have Razer OSVR HDK2 Virtual Reality Headset. Now we all know Razer makes some of the best gaming equipment there is on the market. Uh, it's comfortable to use and, and very user friendly. So at this point they decided to stick with the Oculus Rift version that they made, uh, the Razer OS VR. It's still a big name. And the surprise for everyone is that this whole setup costs $400 starting July, starting next month. And check this out. They added support for the entire open source ecosystem and Steam VR, and a user upgradable setup that allows you to stay ahead of the curve when technology gets updated. So that means you won't have to buy a new headset or adapter or whatever you want every time new shit comes out. Our second story of the day involves Rolls Royce. I will give that not many of you heard of, of Rolls Royce except in billionaire movies or something like that and not many of you have seen a actual Rolls Royce car. Myself included of course. Now Rolls Royce is a very luxurious company that uh, the cars are just extravagant and with the unveiling of Rolls Royce Vision 100 concept car they just blew minds all over the place. Now I have to say I've seen a few pictures of this and the concept car is amazing. Like this is made only for specific rich people. Like it's never going to be for sale for public. Like no one's going to have the budget for it. I would like to know your opinions on this. What, should cars be made just for luxury or more for pa practical purposes? Now the next segment of the day is something that I never thought it would actually come to this. But a guy made a vape audition video for America's Got Talent. Like, I mean, you should know it's right up your la right up your alley, America. How is this a thing now that vaping is a talent? When did when exactly did that happen? I missed out on something. Now his name is Jake Clark, and apparently he sent a video to America's Got Talent auditioning, like like a artist of vaping. I'm not really into vaping, I don't really like it, not, not no smoking at all to be honest, and it's a bit weird for me. But hey, any vapors out there, well, have fun watching it. Now Open Bionics is a award winning company based in England, which partnered with Deus Ex and Razer, exactly how you hear it, to make bionic arms, bionic limbs, that uh, is very, very look alike to Adam Jens's arm from the Sex games. The prosthetic is still in early development, but you will be able to, to 3D print it at home. It's not going to give you the special powers that or help you make the feats that he made in the games, but it will help with the estimated 2 million amputees worldwide that need access to prosthetics. How awesome is that? We are at the point where if a limb is missing, you can customize it now. You can, like for example, they teamed up with Deus Ex and Razer, and I don't even want to know, I don't even want to imagine, better said, how many are out there that actually thought of doing a prosthetic arm, leg, or whatever you want, uh, in the form of something, like imagine someone could, could make a, a, a foot like a, I don't know, like Cyborg from Teen Titans, or why not Robocop, fuck it, print it out. Simple Sexy Stupid is a YouTube channel at San Diego University. <laughs> goes uh, The guy goes around interviewing girls, normally, about sexy themes, or just like, for example, there was a video slapping uh, one's butt. This channel, for example, it's funny, it's amusing. 
he's not going around abusing people or, or uh, invading privacy or something like that. He's just going around doing interviews and I'm assuming, I'm assuming he's not uh, forcing any of these girls into the interview, so-called interview. In this one, for example, he asks, does size really matter? And it was incredible, a lot, well, not a lot, it's all of them <laughs> said yes. Sorry guys, but apparently it does. But at towards the end of the video, a lot of them take a take a real turn, like a hundred and almost eighty turn, more or less. It, it depends how you look at it. Watch the video. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to all of the stories from today. Plus, I will leave you with a special uh, comic strip that I really enjoy, and it's dogs calling dogs police. So yeah, have a laugh. Please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment in the comment section below what did you think about the stories from today, if you have an interesting story leave it in the comment section below as well, I will be checking every one of the comments and if I choose your story you're gonna be featured right here so tune in next time, oh and don't forget to share, it always helps the channel out